what is up everyone welcome to the long-awaited settings video which is something that has been requested on my channel for years now and i am finally getting around to doing it so i'll go over every single setting in this game and i'll explain why i use certain settings instead of the other ones and i am definitely gonna say this now i think these are the best settings you can have on apex on pc so without like wasting more time i'll just get right into it i don't want this video to be long so yeah what it does is um basically you don't have this shit on your screen that's it like you just don't don't have this shit this is decent for like new players i guess because like you can learn like like more in depth what what like item does but if you have more than like 100 hours in this game or maybe even less i would suggest just skipping this on compact bottom hints just shows um your key binds on the screen as you can see down here like it's gone now i i don't know why i keep it on maybe like because i want people to know i'm on mouse and keyboard which is kind of weird but like that's the only reason i keep it on because like i never change my key binds or anything so like this is only good if you are new to like mouse and keyboard or like you're new to controller or you're just changing your key binds around and you want to like have an easier way but like again if you have more than 100 hours you don't really need this so it's just personal preference but like you know it is what it is i just turn it off cross the damage feedback these are the hit markers the screen so it's, pretty, it's pretty simple like if you shoot someone you see a white hit marker and if you kill someone you see a red one it's personal preference i prefer to have it on most of the time i sometimes turn it off but i would definitely say if you're struggling with aiming and especially like tracking and stuff because i understand this is like it can be too much with the like amount of visual clutter this game has uh i would say keep it off but it's just personal preference again damage numbers keep it on stacking because it just adds up if you have it on like loading you just like like you can't like you know keep up i guess unless like you have insane reaction time and you can do mass like in milliseconds so just like keep it on stacking better enemy health bar you should keep this on this is a new feature if you guys remember back in the day like black ops 4 i guess and stuff like that like those games had hit markers above enemies so it's pointless not to have it on because like it's a advantage and you can just turn it on so keep this always on on Bingo capacity this is just like contact with hostile listen let's move here it just makes your ping uh fade i guess and if you have it on default let's go this you way. can see it easier so it's just personal preference again depending on like how easy it is for you to see things and stuff so just play around with it i would say default is better for me personally but you know maybe some people like fade and more enemy highlight keep this on this shows like close enemies to you i don't know if it works in rank 2 i think it works only in the revival mode and the only reason they probably added this setting is because revival is probably going to be permanent at some point so yeah obituary this is just skill feed keep it on of course minimap rotation uh, i don't have a minimap here but like um it's just personal preference again like minimap rotation i would say for opening the map it's kind of easier to navigate if you open the map and you have it off but i just personally like to see where i'm looking at so if i'm looking at here i'll the minimap is gonna point to towards that on top so it's just personal preference but yeah weapon I auto cycle and empty you should keep it on and the reason you should keep it on is because uh, for example if you're using a weapon that is a spray weapon like a full auto weapon and you run out of the ammo the game is instantly gonna switch to the other weapon assuming you have ammo in the other weapon and this only works if you have no ammo left in the gun that you're shooting currently when this happens so i'll just demonstrate so i'll just pretend i'm fighting this guy right you see how it instantly swaps to the wingman so if you have ammo like example this and if i just shoot he's gonna reload the weapon but if I don't have ammo, it's gonna swap to the wingman instantly. And I'm pretty sure you have to be holding your mouse down. So like, no one is gonna learn to let go at one bullet or zero bullets exactly to swap the weapon. So I'll just show you now what happens if you have it off. Uh, off. 
So I'm just gonna shoot and just watch. I'm not it just GMO. nothing happens. I just stop shooting and I have to manually swap my weapon. So this is this is a huge thing. You should always keep this on. I don't know why some people play it off, but like you should always keep it on. Always sprint. This is brain dead. Like I guess if you're playing on controller and can't claw grip, like keep it on. But like otherwise, just keep it off. And the main reason you want to keep it off is like, uh, let's say I think this is a good example. Like this is the best example I can think of. So, so if you have an Eva and you're fighting, you're like moving around and stuff. I leveled up. Upgrade it's normal, right? But if you have always sprint on, look what happens when I'm moving. You see that? The game starts sprinting because I'm holding W and it like it restricts me from shooting. Like you shouldn't have this setting on, this is brain dead, but like I guess it is personal preference, but it's a disadvantage. Spring control, you should have it on press. On hold is like if you don't hold shift or like whatever your sprint button is, you're gonna stop sprinting. And on press is like you just press it once and you can just like move. So it's just personal preference, but like, you know, Press is better because you don't have to hold like shift the whole time. You can actually like crouch and stuff. Hold on, this ready. is brain dead. Time this shouldn't even be a thing. Give it off. Jab back control. This is personal preference. This is only for Valkyrie. I have it on hold. Incoming damage, feedback, 2D and 3D. Don't do both. Do one of them. Both is fucking brain dead. I'll show you 2D how it looks like. So. You see the circle above my crosser? This is how 2D looks like. And now, I'll show you how 3D looks like. So it's just personal preference pretty much. I can't hear myself talk while I'm... I have to crouch here. Did I do this while I'm... Uh, nice. So it's just personal preference. I, to be honest, like it on 2D more. But like, 3D is also decent. So like, you just... Whatever you find, like... Whatever you like, Got an see later. better, I guess, because it just shows like where you're getting shot from. <clears throat> Taking damage, close the death box, and crafting menu. People who have this on don't understand the pain we ha we went through back in the day. Because back in the day, whenever you like thirst someone or want to swap a shield from a box and someone shoots you, it just closes the box. So just keep it on off because like it's gonna prevent you from swapping armor and stuff. Off-screen portraits, this is like showing your teammates. It shows like an icon of your teammates. I think Overwatch has that. I don't remember because I don't play Overwatch like at all ever. But like this pretty much just shows you the portrait of your teammates. Shows like the character they are and like which direction from you they are, I guess, on the screen. It's just more visual clutter. You shouldn't keep this, you should keep this off always. This is the same thing. It just shows you what hop-up you have. So if you have it on and uh, you pick up a hop-up. It just tells you what it does. So this is, I guess, decent for new players, because, like, choose an upgrade. this game can definitely be counts. complicated, so I understand. But, like, if you know what hop-ups do, just keep it off. Streamer mode, this just um, hides the heal feed. Pretty much doesn't show the names of players, it just shows the character they're playing. Which, I guess, can be decent. I used to use this, like, in Season 5 and 6, or, like, around that time. Because whenever I was playing solo queue, I would see if, like, two people who play raid knock each other. Which is better than, like, trying to keep up with the usernames. So if you solo pubs a lot, especially, like, if you solo trios, you should maybe try this on. On all. Because it's going to be easier to third party and stuff. But, like, also, like, the whole kill feed nowadays, just TTV and, like, you know, TikToks. Like, everyone's just promoting everything. So if you don't want to see this, turn it on. Or, like, if you want to... Third party easier in solos or solo queue, I mean. Not in this mode, I keep it on simply because, like, whenever I play solo and I'm getting killed by a three stack or something and they recognize me, it's just so cringe. Because, like, I can't do anything against them most of the time and they, they, they teabag me on top of that or fucking clip me. It's just annoying. So I keep it on. If you wanna keep it on, keep it on. It just hides your name. But if you leave the game and they look at your death box, it shows the name, so, you know. Yusha sharing, I don't know what the fuck this is, I just keep it on disabled. Performance display, this is the thing on top that shows your FPS. You should probably keep it on, unless you're playing on console, I guess, where like you know your FPS at all times. Kek W. But this also shows like your packet loss, your ping and stuff like that, so it's nice to keep it on. It's just more visual clutter, but still, you know. 
I don't know what the fuck this is. This is a new setting. I guess it's something like to filter out people like if they type something bad in chat. Radical default is uh, if you have default, it's just gonna be whatever your colorblind is. That's how back in the day we changed the radical to yellow by using this colorblind. Radical this is my radical two five five two five zero. This is the one that I'm using the most. I sometimes change it, but I always go back to this one because this is just yellow. It like works decent on like all the maps like it's sometimes blending in but like i'm just used to it and i wish apex would have a setting to have a different crosshair on each map because every map has different like whatever it's called like lighting and stuff so hopefully we get it in season 37 laser sights i just keep it like this because it doesn't like how to explain this like it doesn't you can barely see it like this because it's blending in red red is blending that's why people escaped the red reticle by swapping the color blind back in the day because no one wants to like the, the red is blending in so hard in this game you can't barely see it i don't know how people play with red cross cross crossers and stuff color blind mode i am color blind to yellow green and like purple and like low and stuff like that like i can kind of tell the difference sometimes but like i don't use this because i'm colorblind i just use this because i'm used to this so yeah because back in the day again you had to change your colorblind mode to change your crosshair set the i keep it off what the fuck off normal and all of this like doesn't really matter like i don't know what this is convert this is like you can see people uh what they type in chat i guess and this is uh wait okay so this this one if someone says something in voice it's gonna type it in chat and this one if someone types something in chat it's gonna like text to speech you so i remember i turned this off on one some point i was like trolling with it that was funny but yeah that's pretty much all for gameplay settings all right so this one this, this is what people care the most about in my comment section um so you should keep all of this off, like mouse excel, mouse invert, whatever this fuck, this two are. Just keep it off, you don't need like any of this. Mouse sense, I play anywhere from 1.7 to 2.5 on 800 dpi. My polling rate is 1000 hertz, my windows sense is 6 out of 11, and my lift off distance is 2. So currently I'm playing on 1.8, I usually play around 2, like 2.0. Sometimes I go higher, sometimes a bit lower, but never below. 1.7 and never above 2.6, 2.5 I mean. So my area sense, everything is default, 3x and above, 2x is 1.1 because I like having a... Um, because like I usually ADS with the flatline and the R301 up close when I have a 2x, but I always give a 2x on him. So it just makes it like easier and not have to move my hand as much to track people up close. And this is just one to one. I'll make a video about this, but this is not 1.4. This is 1.37474 I think or some shit like that. It just makes my hip fire the same as my ADS sense, but this works only on 120 FOV. For 110 FOV, this is like 1.318, I think. I'll make a video about it, so like, just don't worry about this. Uh, my keybinds, I'll just show them. There's nothing much to talk about them. Like, scroll is on down to jump and up to tap strafe. So I'll just show my settings now. So the only thing I want to say is, uh, if you play mouse and keyboard, you should definitely have uh, this. This is pretty cool. So like, no matter what you have selected in your healing wheel, if you just press this button, it just pops up the bat, med kit, phoenix kit. I should do one for syringe, but I don't know where to put it. So if you play mouse and keyboard, you should definitely do this. But like everything else is just personal preference. Most of these keybinds are just default, because I've been playing on like default binds for a long time. But I just changed some around, so you can just like look through them, I guess. But like, don't copy my keybinds, use your own keybinds, whatever works for you. Unless you have something like brain dead, so yeah. Alright, controller settings. I actually have been playing on controller a bit recently. And uh, I'll just show you my button layout. So, I shoot an ADS with my bump triggers, I think they're called. And then my ping and my ability and my like old is the other ones so I, I, i'm not like familiar how they call them but like you know i'm on a playstation controller so 
L1, R1 to shoot in ADS, L2 and R2 to use my built-in ping. I also sprint on uh, this thing, which is like B on Xbox. It's just personal preference. And I crouch with my left stick. I always been crouching with my left stick since back in the day when I used to play on like Xbox and shit. So it's just personal preference, you know, I can like hit super glides and shit easily. Wait, hold on, hold on. There we go. But like, yeah. Uh, I have LC, I don't play normal settings. That's on small, inversion off, vibration off. Anyway, ALCs, that's on zero. Outer threshold one, response curve zero. Optics is default. And then I play max hip fire with 110 ADS. And I have aim assist on, but melee aim assist off. And the reason for that is because whenever I'm like running all around, especially like off spawn, like the aim assist will lock on people and will like aim like that, like at them. And it just like, you know, it just fucks you up a bit. It's just personal preference. I haven't played on controller enough to, I mean on Apex at least. Don't know if like me keeping that on is like doing something or like it's just completely pointless and brain dead, so yeah. <clears throat> but like, always make sure to keep these two the same and these two the same because I don't know how people play like that. I used to be pretty good on Call of Duty back in the day on console. And I don't know how people play like different since they do it, you know what I mean? So yeah, it's just personal preference, both keybinds and sense. Again, if you wanna like just abuse aim assist, play 4-3 and... Alright, video settings. So, I play full screen, always play full screen, never play anything but full screen. And I play 16-10, 17-28 by 1080. I used to have a uh, display scale, which is pretty much, I guess, manipulating your monitor into thinking your, your like, native resolution is 16-10 instead of 69. So that like gives you like a bit more stable FPS and less simple like, cause like your monitor doesn't have to like, you know, work as much cause you're playing on one resolution, on one aspect ratio I mean, and then your desktop is another one. So yeah, if you want to do that, I might make a video on that, but like you can just look it up. It's not hard. Uh, bright is 70%. I just don't like playing on 50. My eyes like feel sleepy or something. I don't know how to explain this, but like. I never go below 70. I used to play on 85 at some point, but like that's just too high nowadays. Field of view, I play 120. It says 110, but 120, 120 is what I play on. FOV ability scaling, uh, I'm just gonna explain this. Like, I restarted my Apex, like I reinstalled it, and I never fixed this. But FOV ability scaling, you should keep it on disabled. And the reason for that is because if you're not playing 120 FOV and you pop a Bloodhound ult or you steam with Octane, it's gonna increase your FOV and fuck up your aim because it's gonna like add up to your sensitivity. I don't know how to explain this, but like it changes your sensitivity a bit. It feels different even though it's the same sensitivity. So unless you're playing 120 FOV, keep this on disabled. If you have it on enabled, doesn't matter on 120. And sprint view shake, you should keep it on minimal. I have it on normal because I'm brain dead and I never changed it. But like, you know, keep it on minimal. We sync off, of course, like don't play with sync. We sync. And this one, this one, I feel like it's different for everyone. Cause for me, on my old PC, I would play like this and it felt better compared to the default. But on this PC, it feels better with disabled. So it's just personal, like not personal preference, but like depending on your system. So just like figure it out, you know, like you can feel it with your mouse more than your controller. So you have to be like a mouse and keyboard to figure this out. This is brain dead, keep it on zero, and just like off zero, whatever the fuck. Anti aliasing off, of course. Texture to make budget, just like you can play on whatever this is. I would play on 8 before, but like that was my old PC, so I play on 2 now. But like on 8, pretty much, like you can't really notice a difference because it's just the same thing, pretty much. Like the game looks the same, pretty much. But just like most of these settings, you have to like figure out what works best for your PC. So, yeah, everything else is just off and low for the max FPS. But, like, this one, you just have to figure it out. This one and this one. NVIDIA Reflex and Texture Streaming Budget. You just, like, mess around with it and, like, you'll find something that works for your PC. Audio settings. I play on 70. Massive volume. And then sound effects, I play on 100. Dialogue, I put usually on, like, 20. And then gameplay volume of spectating. This is a new setting. I keep it like 30, which is just Welcome. like. Welcome. Someone just follow me on Twitch. What the fuck? Am I streaming? Okay, I'm not streaming. What the fuck? Imagine I was streaming. That would be like actually embarrassing, but like, yeah. And that's a car outside. Should have closed my window. 
anyway, like sound effects, 100, because I, I just feel like I can hear footsteps better on 100 Upgrade's than like ready. if I was Time about to, to lower it. Dialogue, I put in like 20, so I can just hear like if someone's like there partying or something, gives you a voice line. Music, I keep off. And then this new setting, I keep it like 30. It, like, it, it just lowers the audio a bit when you're not playing, like when you're spectating. You can just chill a bit, you know. And this is just, uh, this is good if you like play ranked or something and you're like in queue for a long time. So when you tab out, you can hear the game still, but like I just keep it on off. And I don't know what this is, I just keep it on off. So yeah, these are pretty much all the settings. I, so yeah, these are all the settings and uh, there's nothing much to them. I just want you guys to like remember, like always use your own settings. Never like go around copying people's settings because that is brain dead and that's not gonna help you much if you're struggling to like improve if you feel like you're skill capped or something like that like as long as you're comfortable with your mouse sense with your keybinds and your game doesn't look like you know 90 fov you should be fine i'll also make another video which is like gonna explain how to increase your responsiveness your pc your mouse keyboard controller everything like that because I've done all of that and my game like feels super smooth even though like my PC is like on live support. So yeah, make sure to drop a sub and turn the notice on for that video. But yeah, that's it. So I just want to say again, like this was only Apex settings, like in-game. Out of the game settings, I'll make a different video. So yeah, just stay tuned. And yeah, that's it.